Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I just want to say I hope that you guys are all staying safe during your quarantine. If you're out working, I hope you guys are being safe. If you're a nurse, grocery store worker, truck driver, EMT, you know, anything in healthcare or anybody that's still providing for us to be able to stay at home and work and that are, are risking their lives out in this coronavirus. I just want to say thank you. We, as in everybody, appreciate it so much and we know that we couldn't do this fight without you guys. So thank you so much. It means so much to us. I am lucky enough to be able to work from home so i still receive a paycheck but i know there's so many out there that can't bring in any income right now because they don't have the opportunity and that honestly breaks my heart see so yeah, i'm very grateful but i just wanted to give a shout out to all you guys keeping it real out there hopefully we get through this so soon i say this in like every video i film now but it's true so yeah just wanted to give you a shout out and thank you but today i'm gonna be french braiding my hair this side i'm going to be doing just the typical like French braid or the inside braid and over here I'm going to be doing the Dutch braid I believe is what it's called or the outside braid. I love both of them. I just typically like rotate between the two because I don't know which one I like more. It really just changes every day. I love braiding my hair. I taught myself how to do it like when I was in fifth grade I think. Don't really know how I taught myself. I just started playing with my hair and kept up to it and told myself I was gonna learn how to French braid. I typically wear my hair in braids probably like a few different times a week. It's just so simple for me, especially with working out and stuff. And honestly, I love it. If you wanna see how I do two different styles of French braids or a Dutch braid, then please keep watching. To start, I just straightened my hair. My hair is so long. But I actually filmed this video for you guys like a few days ago and I didn't have straight hair and let me tell you, my hair was poofy and it was just really hard to see what I was doing. So I wanted to try maybe straightening it first before I did this video. Since I'm doing two different braids, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. Your part does not have to be perfect. I usually just do it with my fingers. Do a quick thing and then just pull it all around. On this side, we're gonna do the French, the traditional French braid or the inside braid. This one's probably the most easiest one to do. You're gonna start the braid by just like kind of feeling a little down your part and then just like kind of bringing it down and just separating a good little chunk of hair apart from the rest of your hair. So this is gonna be the hair that we're starting with. Look how thin my hair is right here like see-through and we're just gonna start this one divide this little chunk of hair into three pieces like a traditional braid and so we have three pieces right here every time we do a cross of a hair our outside piece is going to go over the middle piece so I'm gonna take this outside piece right here and go over the middle piece we're just gonna do that a couple more times to get it started so outside is going to go over and then outside over one more time. And now we have this outside piece ready to have hair added to it. And so I'm just gonna take a little chunk of hair right underneath it. I'm gonna pull it apart from the big chunk and then I'm gonna add it to that outside piece of hair. I have two strings of hair left over. I'm gonna take the outside piece and go over. And then I'm gonna take another little chunk of hair right below it and add it to the outside piece. I never really thought about braiding my hair before, like it just came so natural. So trying to explain it might not be the best. So I'm sorry, I might have to do this video on me braiding somebody else's hair, but we'll see. So now we have the two outside pieces of hair, have hair added to them. So we're going to do one more braid. This outside piece is going over the middle piece. I'm gonna take a chunk of hair on the outside and add it to that last piece. And now all three pieces have hair added to them. And I'm just gonna continue this process. My outside piece goes over, take a chunk of hair and add it to the outside piece. Outside piece goes over, take a chunk of hair and add it to my outside piece. Outside piece goes over, add to the outside piece. Outside piece goes over, add a chunk of hair, and so on. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see better, hopefully.
And then once we've added all the hair to our braid, we just continue this with the traditional braid or you can stop here, put a ponytail here and just have this fall down and just have this braided. But I like to go all the way down with my braids. So I'm just gonna continue doing the outside over braid, just traditional and get this all braided. Once you get to your desired stopping point, just take the little rubber band and you're just going to tie it at the end of the braid. And there you have your French braid or your inside braid. And then you can also take your pieces and just kind of like pull them apart to make them a little thicker and bigger. Such a cute look. I do this to all my braids. Just kind of makes you look, it looks more full. So cute. Okay, now we're going to do the Dutch braid or the outside braid. As you can tell, my hair is already a little wavy because I already did this braid, but I don't know, I just, it looked weird. So I'm just gonna redo it. It only takes like five minutes to do, so no harm's lost. Take our finger, go down our part a little bit and then just drag it down to get a good little chunk of hair to start our braid off with. So as you see here, I have a good little chunk of hair. We're going to want to split it into three. Three pieces, one, two, three. And you just wanna get them all situated in your hand really nice before we start to do anything. And for the outside braid, why it's called the outside braid is because you tuck the pieces under so it like, it builds a braid on top of your head. I'm going to be taking this outside piece and we're just gonna start a regular braid just to get it started. So take this outside piece and we're gonna pull it under the middle piece. And then we're gonna take this outside piece on top and pull it under the middle piece. And then one more time, take this outside piece, pull it under the middle piece. So now we have just a little braid started and we're gonna start adding this hair to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little chunk of hair right below the piece that I'm gonna add it to, pull it apart from the other hair and then add it to this outside piece. I have two pieces right here. I'm gonna take this outside piece, pull it under my middle piece and so my middle piece is now my outside piece and then I'm gonna take a chunk of hair kind of I just what I do is I like draw a line from where I took the piece last time and I just kind of go all the way up until I can't go anymore and then I'm gonna add that to the top outside piece so we still have three pieces just two pieces have hair added to it and so next I'm gonna take this outside piece pull it under the middle the middle becomes the outside and then add to this outside piece and then take the outside piece, pull it under, and add to our outside piece. Outside, pull it under middle. Oh my god, guys. The one downside to braiding your hair is your arms get so sore. And then we take some hair, add it to the outside piece, pull the outside under the middle. Okay, and once you run out of hair to add, you just continue your regular braid of outside goes under. And then usually when it gets probably a little bit down, I bring it around so that I can braid in front of my head and not have my arms twisted behind my body. And I just continue pulling all the outside pieces to the middle under the middle piece. braid 
it down until you really can't braid anymore or until you want to stop and then you get a little rubber band and then put it at the end of your braid hold on your each piece a little bit i just really like this look i feel kardashian vibes when i do it anybody that knows me knows i love me some kardashian and then i like go all the way up and pull it apart make the whole braid look thicker and yeah this is the outside braid now that we have both braids done i'm going to take some of my Aussie Headstrong Volume Hairspray. I'm just gonna spray a little bit just to hold my flyaways down. One thing I did want to talk about, because I'm sure you guys saw it, um, was my bald spot. I don't know if it, how well it's hidden or if you guys can see it or what, but it looks so much better than what it used to i'll kind of put a before pic of what it used to look like so this is actually a form of alopecia i think is how you say it alopecia and i noticed it about six or seven months ago one of my friends was actually braiding my hair and she was like dude you have a bald spot and i'm like what and so she showed me i'm like what the heck and so i was freaking out didn't know what it was thought maybe i just pulled a really good chunk of my hair out like um, when I do my messy buns, but it just wasn't ever growing back. So then I decided that my family kept telling me to go to the doctor, just get it checked out, make sure it's just to see what it is and maybe just get ahead of it. So I went to the doctor and they actually told me that right off the bat, like he looked at it and like two seconds later, he's like, oh yeah, that's alopecia. And what it basically is, is it's just like kind of like a, it's, it's caused by like stress or just, I don't know, basically stress is probably what mine is from. You know, I was planning a wedding and just trying to keep up with work and life and, you know, we just bought a house. And so that's probably what it was, even though I didn't really feel so stressed my body could have just been under stress and that's probably like where it all went to was my alopecia spot and so he gave me some rogaine which i used a few times i didn't use it as often as i should have but i just didn't really see any growth with using that so a few months later i had a dermatologist appointment coming up i go to the dermatologist for my acne so I figured while I'm there, might as well show them it, see what it's about, and see if what the doctor prescribed me before, the Rogaine, would help it. Um, so I went and again, like right off the bat, I showed him, he was like, oh yeah, that's alopecia. And so I asked him again, he was like, it's just a stress hormone, it can grow back. And so I was very relieved that it wasn't anything more than alopecia because I was going in there like thinking maybe I was gonna have to have a biopsy done and everything. But the dermatologist actually prescribed me just like a topical treatment. And as you can see, I mean, I'll put a picture in, it has, grown quite a bit since using that topical treatment and jared will like put it on my head you know every night and when he's not here i'll try and find it but it is i mean even though i can feel it like i feel still feel like i'm not getting all of it so yeah i've been using that topical treatment for a few weeks now and i feel like just like within like the first few days i saw a huge difference and with the rogaine i used it for like weeks and never saw anything i actually felt like it kind of got worse I don't know. Yeah, so that is what I have. I have alopecia. I haven't found any other spots on my head. I did Google it, which you probably shouldn't do ever. A lot of people, they have spots like all over their head. So I am very blessed that I just have this one spot that can easily be hidden. The only time people ever really see it is when I do braids. <laughs> I love braids. Yeah, so that is my going bald story at 27. So, and yeah, there you have it. Two different style braids that are super cute, super easy to do. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'm sure I didn't do the best job explaining it. I've never tried to explain how to braid before, but I hope that it was good enough to where it helped you and maybe you can try it on somebody else. It is harder to braid on yourself versus to just braiding on somebody else. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
and leave a comment down below what you want to see next or just showing some love i could use some love right now and yeah make sure to hit the subscribe button to get in on all my future uploads and until next time i'll see you in my next video bye stay safe out there